thoughts? Um, Neil, I'm going to start with you straight away. Um, like Tyrone Green coming in. What does that do for the team that's a little bit different to on this uh, Yeah, first of all, well done to Tyrone Green, uh, another youngster coming through the system. Um, he's been working really hard and he deserves opportunity. Um, in terms of the way he plays, you'll have to see on the weekend, uh, he's just very excited to go. Um, obviously, we saw him as a junior and you all saw him as a junior. and. Uh, very exciting, um, so he's, he's rearing to go. Taking nothing away from Bubis, he's been fantastic. It's just a rotational policy this weekend. Okay, just generally the backs play in that. So we had some good things last week but fell away towards the end of the game. And that, um, what has the focus been this week? Um, yeah, first of all, there's been a lot made of, of backs and forwards play over the last couple of weeks. And, and there's 15 guys on the, on the field. Um, obviously, the, the platform that the forwards laid for us over this weekend allowed the backs to, to, to play a bit. So that was really good. Um, Looking ahead to this weekend, uh, really excited. Excited to build on a bit of momentum that we that we created last week. Um, need to improve in that last 20. We are aware of that. Um, but yeah, first first better performance, I would say. So yeah, something to look forward to. Cross again, a number of changes. Um, what does that do for continuity? I mean, the Lions obviously benefit hugely over the seasons on continuity. So what do the changes do for it? Yeah, uh, I think. Uh, the key in Super Rugby these days is rotation. Um, everybody is on the same page and everybody knows exactly what what the game plan is and what, what we've got to do in order to win over the weekend. Um, but it's a long season. Uh, so if, if you want to keep the guys fresh and hungry and ready to go, uh, rotation is 100% key. Ross, you haven't seen their team leaders just yet, but obviously expect two big names in half back there to be with him. They, they came late this week, there was an Aussie alignment camp at the back of it as well, um, for the Wallabies. Um, do you expect that to affect them? And yeah, obviously seeing the formula in at the moment. Uh, I don't think it will affect them. I think they're a classy uh, pairing. Obviously they've got a history and um, when Reds were doing, I mean playing the, their best rugby, the two of them were at their best as well. Uh, I think they, they manage a game well. Um, they, yeah, they, they can speed it up, slow it down, and obviously they both uh, show a bit of magic, but we can't focus on two players. It's a, it's a game of 15 against 15, and um, if we stay within our defensive si system and attacking systems at the end of the, and focus on what we've got to do at the end of the day, um, I think, yeah, we, that's, that's what we've got to pretty much focus on. Um, just uh, to tell us about uh, Marvin Murray coming back into the side and what difference that's going to make. Yeah, Marvin is always good to have a springbok back in the team. He was injured last week and I think it's the same as the rotation where guys are hungry again to play. Um, we always welcome Marvin back in the team. His leadership is key, especially stopping the driving more, which was a concern on Saturday. Marvin is so it's one of his strengths as well and more weight in the scrum. I think that's something that went well this weekend and Marvin is very excited. He take the guys he take the, the back five going forward in the scrum as well, so we're very welcome to have Melbourne back in the team. On those driving walls, I mean, you guys took a bit of a beating there last week, if I can put it that way. Do you think, you know, have you spent a lot of time on that this week? Yeah, it was a small detail that oh, the guys missed, but that's unfortunately how it is. If you don't get it spot on in, in the first second, it's always in trouble. The senior pack of there is definitely exposed the youngsters a bit there, but it's definitely something we worked on this week. And, We'd rather have it happen in the game that you win than that you lose, then you can't fix it afterwards. But yeah, that's something we definitely fixed this week. <coughs> what have you made of the Rebels so far? No, they definitely, they a top-notch team. They've won three out of three. Mm -hmm. They've got a massive line-out unit. They're taller than most of the other teams in the competition. Um, and they strive on front football. So we have to kill the momentum in the scrums in our line-outs. That's where it all starts. So it's a massive responsibility from the pack this weekend again. Do you think game management is more important this week than last week? Yeah, it's something all of the teams always strive to manage the, the game on their terms. So I don't think it, it changed at all. Um, we've got our plans and if every guy just pull his part, we can control the way we want to control the game. Just uh, with the Rebels, I mean, they've, they've done, you see an upsurge in Australian teams. It's obviously a very different mindset from the games you've had so far in the yeah, it's, uh, I think when they play the two Brumbies, the two, two, two games, it's always, if it's a local derby, it's always guys tend to prove a point. Um, but they want to come out and I think they will, they will target us. They, they've got a senior side, they see a lot of change on our side, a lot of youngsters. First game on tour is always exciting when guys go on tour. So I think it's going to be tough this weekend, but 
I really think that if we do what we need to do on Saturday, it can go well with us as well. Neil, though, Franco and Rubia and Juan Lucida played together for the first time last week. Um, obviously, there would have been a few nerves and they played well. Do you expect them to mm. kick on now that they've got those first game nerves out of the way? Uh, yeah, uh, well, we hope so. Um, but it was good last week. Um, first game together, like you said, Jock. So, exciting combination. Uh, got a bit of grunt and a, and a bit of bit of flair on the outside. So, yeah, we hope we hope they can they can kick on. Um, there's obviously other guys pushing for positions as well. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be nice to see them when they really click. Um, but it's a team game, so, so they're only dependent on the, on the quality ball that they get and, and the halves making good decisions. So, so yeah, but very, very exciting combo. Hello, Hello. Oh, sorry. Um, I see a report that Melbourne Rebels have chosen size over or bringing more size or extra weight in their squad. What, it does. what are you reading to that? Do you think it's something to do with the way they see you guys play? Yeah, so I think definitely um, one thing that went well for us so far, we've got a smaller pack, but the way we explode in the scrum is really a key that works for us so far in the last four weeks. Um, and the fact that we gave away more tries, so I think that's, that's one thing they do the whole game from the 22 top to the 5, they maul everything that they can maul. So I think they see it as a, as a weakness for us to stop them, so I think most of the teams will target us there, see if they can get go forward there, because if they get go forward there, the whole team have to adapt. So that's maybe why they go for the bigger pack. Philip, do you have any information for us on the injury of Robbie Kutsia when he will be back? Yo, I'm not 100% sure, sir. It's something that the medical call. I know he's working on the field, next to the field, as hard as he can, but I'm not 100% sure when Robbie will be back. Philip, maybe there's something on your new Uku Yanin What kind of player is he? Yeah, Yanin Ning is a really excited guy at the union. Um, yes, we're blessed with three quality senior hookers at this time. Um, we think it's a good opportunity for him to play as well, um, to make an impact of the bench. His set pieces are very good, he's excited and he's hungry. So hopefully on Saturday when you need him for that last 15, 20, 30 minutes, whenever he comes on, he'll bring that spark, ex excitement, hunger, desperation to prove a point. Um, in his first Super Rugby game at the Lions, so we're very excited to see him play on Saturday. You know, a lot of people are expecting a running game from uh, both teams, obviously with uh, quite quick and well getting on the Rebels team as well. Uh, but how important will the tactical kicking be with uh, Halo Petty starting for the Rebels? That's a really good question. Um, I think the kicking game will always be important um, in terms of relieving and applying pressure. Um, so everyone is expecting a bit of a running game. Um, you mentioned their two halfbacks, but we've got some, some pretty quality halfbacks as well that can manage the game. Um, it, it boasts for a really inter interesting game this weekend. Um, if it's a dry pitch like it, like it would be normally at Alice Park at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, it should be a really good game to watch. And uh, hopefully we can get a, a packed Alice Park. It'll be really nice. Any more questions? Any one on one? Afrikaans. Does anybody else need Afrikaans? No. Okay. Come. Need one on one stuff. Yeah. Ik kan ze maar gaan vragen, hoor. Ja, die zelfde vraag, want ik heb niet meer te vragen. Maar het is zwaarder. Of het niet zwaarder stilers is dan. Dan geeft het iets wat anders van een jelle, jelle spannende raak zijn. Ach, ik denk definitief. Um, ons nog wel verder. Ik denk dat die kortste en die lichtste pak van meeste van die pakken. Um, so, om een manier te krijgen om, om die scrum te domineren tegen ons, om te stoppen die scrums, gaan allemaal definitief een zwaarder pak wil kies. En omdat ons in die lijn staan drijven, makkelijke meters weggegeet, veel in naweek, geloof ik omdat die strength en die sterkpunt van die rebels is om juist te drijven zoveel stel ik kan, groter, sterker, langer pak, is iets wat hulle tot hulle voordeel dan kan zien. Is daar ook iets wat jullie extra tijd spond uit die werk om aan doel van die kinderen? Ons het definitief baie, baie tijd aan zitten om te drijven stoppen, net die detail rondom dit, want Dat was een of twee weekjes wat niet recht was op zaterdag, niet wat een of twee ons het verkeerd gehad het. En als je hem niet bij die beginpunt waar je opgezet is, stop niet dan om een nadeel te keren, is dan promontelijk. Nieuw, Afrikaans? Ik heb het gepraat over die, die schermschakel en die loskakelcompetitie en die schopperij. Um, Tactisch gaan het altijd belangrijk is om, om druk te verlig en, uh, en op die andere span te zitten. Hij um, heeft een goede schakelpark om een nazi, maar zo so ook het ons. Um, Het feit dat hulle vir hulle petje op jylle achter gekies het, maak dat hulle nog een goeie skop, skop op sê daar achter. So, so ja, wie gaan, nie, wie gaan nie druk game win en daai span gaan die game win. So, baie belangrijk. So, verwacht jy een goeie oop haar te praat met jy ons al of nie met jy omstandig? Ja, ons hoop so. Um, Alice Park is een ongelooflike pitch, is vinnig, het is um, warm, het is drie die middag. So, so hoop hulle kan het lekker, kan het lekker vinnig in OPS sê nee, en ons kan vol Alice Park sê en het sal gereid wees. Emirates Airlines Park, althans. Dankie. Dankie julle.